The number of people testing positive for coronavirus in the UK rises to 209. Two of those infected have died. Well, we'll have the latest developments in the UK and around the world also tonight. Hello, very good evening to you. The number of coronavirus cases in the UK has passed 200. Tonight, the family of one of the two patients who've died after being infected have spoken of their pain in not being able to grieve as they too are now in isolation. In total, 209 people have now been infected in, infected in the UK. Both of those people who did die were elderly and with underlying health issues. Globally, there are more than 100,000 cases. Just over 3,500 people have died, the vast majority in China. Our health correspondent Dominic Hughes has more. Now, all 3,500 people on board a cruise ship off the coast of San Francisco are now being tested for coronavirus after 21 crew and passengers earlier tested positive. More than 100 British tourists are on board, as Sophie Long reports. Well, in the past few minutes, it's been announced that the government is planning emergency new laws in response to the uh, coronavirus. Now, Turkey's Coast Guard has been ordered to prevent migrants crossing the Aegean to Greek islands because of the dangers involved. But clashes have again erupted at the Turkish-Greek land border with Greek police firing tear gas at migrants. Last week, Turkey's President Erdogan said he was opening the doors for refugees to enter Europe amid tensions over the Syrian conflict, as Caroline Davis reports. Now, after the wettest February on record, the Association of British Insurers says the total value of payouts to people hit by recent flooding will be around £360 million. Meanwhile, some affected businesses are starting to trade again. Here's our business correspondent, Katie Prescott. Well, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex attended one of their final public engagements tonight before they step back as senior royals. Uh, just a warning, the pictures we are about to show you do contain a lot of flash photography. And of course you can see more on all of today's stories on the BBC News Channel. That's all from me. Good night. Bye-bye.